Hello everybody and welcome to episode 6 of Stoneblock. In the last episode we made this super duper amazing mob farm and I added a few upgrades here. I found out that there's a bag storage from the comments and from another video and you can just cycle the bags you need and extract them and they take the amount of bags that's in here and I presume this is infinite storage or maybe it has a maximum. I'm not sure. We're going to find out possibly today. So only the armor is stuck in here and I have a trash can here and I want to filter in the trash can of what we want to destroy. So basically what I'm going to do. Oh, it got picked up by this. Uh, I can add another conduit here with, I mean, there is a durability filter, isn't there? Uh, if I go to filter from Ender IO, there's redstone, basic, advanced, limited, big, existing, power item, fluid filter, species, and then there's redstone filters. They really need just a durability filter, existing item. I mean, all of these are kind of from Minecraft, but as well, other things are from Minecraft, so that should be, should be wrong to extract those. Uh, but there, there used to be like, a filter from extra utilities that you could just turn on and say has durability and then you could filter out things that have durability. You could still do that with like AE and stuff but what we're just gonna do possibly is go grab a couple of filters. I have a few filters here and I turn on the mob farm and as you can see the items are coming in too fast for the conduit to keep up. So we need the conduit speed upgrades, which require electrical steel, and we can make our electrical steel seeds once we get a little bit of our electrical steel. So for now, I'm just gonna leave the farm on for a bit. And also, remember last time I had the crash with the uh, with this guy, the mob crusher? It was due to the repellent armor from... Um, oh, hello. How did you drop through the glass? Uh, increase the radius should be fine. Um, it was due to the repellent armor from Ender.io and you can't specifically disable that but it was not meant to be put on mobs the repellent enchantment from the armor so in the new version of Ender.io it was fixed so I just installed the newer version of Ender.io and the problem seemed to have gone away. There might be another thing that crashes it but so far I have not seen anything that could crash it but like, I've been picking up things that still can go in the storage because, like, we have trophies here and there's still some tro trophies that we haven't gotten. And there's also these name tags that I have to filter out and stuff like that. But, um, we need electrical steel. So, for that, we need Ender.io. And for that, we need diamond sieves. And for that, we need sieving. So, I'm going to try and make an automatic sieve. And we can just toss in manually, I believe it's gravel, to get grains of infinity. And we only need to get four of uh, of these in a diamond stiffen mesh, and then we can get it's a 0.5% chance. We need four of those because then we can make the grains essence, which is just a tier two, and then just make infinite grains of infinity. Uh, also, I made a few seeds here. I realized you can uh, automatically skip. Uh, this is rubber seeds. You can skip the whole making of plastic, uh, plastic of this guy through smelting dry rubber and making tiny rubber in the latex processing unit and using tree fluid extractors on wood because the rubber seeds, if you look at the recipe uh, for these, it's just rubber from IC2 or the plastic. And we have a rubber sapling in one of the trees. So what I just did is I took four of these uh, sticky resins, smelted them and made a seed. And then you can do both crafting recipes for plastic you can take, or for rubber, you can take three of them, put them in a crafting window, and if you put them up top, you get rubber. If you put them in the middle, you get plastic, which is really neat. So over here, I think I have a shit ton of plastic. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. I still have morning voice. <laughs> it's quite early in the morning. But uh, we need electrical steel. So grains of eternity. So I'm going to make an automatic sieve. I'm going to make a bunch of gravel from just doing um, doing the thing, um, blah, 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 blah. smashing it with some, some hammers and stuff and toss it in a, a chest and extract it into an automatic sieve and then do that. The sieve has been made and I uh, cr crushed down I think three stacks of uh, compressed cobblestone into gravel. Uh, that way my hammer is just repairing itself with the repair tablet 
And this is gonna just do its thing. And once it's full or something, and once it's processed this, hopefully we get some grains of infinity. So I'm just gonna leave this running while we do the rest of the episode. And we're gonna look at it every so often and see if we get four grains of infinity. Uh, we can also now claim a couple of quests because I did a few things here. We have the diamond mesh and we can claim that. We also have, I believe here, some of the seeds that I got while I was crafting the iron and the gold seeds. And we can also have the tier five seeds, even though I crafted them already, I couldn't have accepted the quest because I didn't have the previous prerequisite quests. But let's pop this, punji sticks and resonant upgrade kits. Again, I'm gonna come in useful. And three storage upgrades, tier fours. Okay, that's fine. Oh, punji sticks can go in there. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but I also made gold and iron seeds because we were running down on iron and gold and we have no more problems. There, I AFK'd overnight, there was 2000 plus essences and I just crafted them down manually into iron and gold. And we have over here, I tossed it already in the chest. Uh, we have all of the gold and all of the iron, so it's all good. Um, and for the seeds, for everything, I can just craft them up super easily. We have all of the Supremium. I can just make steel seeds, tin seeds, silver seeds, lead seeds, nickel, and all that. All of the basic ingots, and that should be good. Um, and we're gonna set up the closest today. But, um, we're, we're trying to get to electrical steel, so for that we just need to wait on this to get us grains of infinity, eventually. <laughs> uh, so, for the time being, we're gonna, we're gonna take my super duper TNT, and also the EFL Len, even though it's, it does more damage than I wanted it to. Uh, and I can toss some things away in here, just to be, just to be clear of it. The loot recycler, we don't need the filters, we don't need right now. This is almost repaired. So I'm gonna wait for that, the glass panes we don't need, and these we don't need. Repaired? Repaired. Wonderful. Uh, toss this in my bag. We don't need the ender orb, actually, because we have flight. So I'm gonna go in here, and let's do... Let's put it, like, right there. And see what happens. I could be destroying some of the stuff here, because that has quite a big of a range. <laughs> so we're gonna see if any of the cloches... Yeah, one cloche got destroyed with my, did it actually not just not drop anything? Okay, so I'm gonna have to make another, another cloche and another tier, uh, tier five inferium seed. That's not a problem. I have all of this, all of the supremium, so it should be good. Uh, why did, like, I don't understand how it has such big of a range. So I'm gonna toss you deeper inside and hopefully we don't lose any of the cloches. You know what, for the time being, since we have the seeds in here, I'm gonna take some of the seeds out, some of the ones that I don't want to remake again. So basically all of them, <laughs> like so, and uh, like so. And if the cloches get destroyed, we can just remake the cloches. That's easier than making the seeds. Okay, you do you, make me a hole. Okay, now it's far enough away that we don't destroy anything. Uh, so let's do a bit more. I don't have night vision, but you can at least see it from here. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do some more TNTing and see if I can get a nice little shape of some kind going and Possibly do cloches somewhere maybe here on the left so we go behind the drawers kind of I have no idea how I want to set them up yet So we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens when it happens I have made a little bit of TNT progress and there's one Downside kind of this turns into a mesa over here. You're gonna see on the right It turns into mesa and mesa has the ugly grass <laughs> So we might have to use this part for something and Maybe I would want to route it more through here to have a pathway But I really like kind of this blob of stone here. It was really nice um, I don't know Maybe I'll just cut off a little bit of this stone and put a pathway there and we can stick something in this part where it has the ugly grass I mean, I'm in the end, hopefully we can do, uh, from Botania, there's like a vivid pasture siege with Blida, uh, which changed the uh, the grass to a really cool green color. So we might try those and I might leave just the mesa here for now. I don't know if it, how it changes depending on the biome or if it just changes the grass color to a different grass color. So the idea here is possibly put in a drawer set up over here on this side because it's kind of flattish and we can fit in quite a few drawers and don't know if i want to just set up all of the seeds that i can make and then have more space for the rest of the seeds because i could do some math and we have 
the seeds here and count up how many cloches I would need to have all of the seeds that I would need. I can possibly do that. That will take me like five minutes to just count them up and see what of the seeds that we need and what we don't need. And then I can see how many cloches we would need and <laughs> what a setup for that. Yeah, let me let me do a quick little math and counting things and yeah. So this Grains of Infinity has processed a little bit of gravel, but it's not given us any Grains of Infinity. So we can try and increase that by taking the sieve and we can enchant it to see Fortune 3. That will actually help. I just need 30 levels, which we can get super easily by coming over here, grabbing a couple stacks of these and just doing like that. Use 30 levels. I might have died to the TNT. That that, that might have happened because I had 50 levels before. But Mop Farm solves the problem. So I have some lapis a little bit over here and I have the other stuff over there. So that's fine. Uh, for the seeds, there is like a hundred different types of seeds. So this will definitely probably help the fortune. Uh, nice. And I also made a gluttony charm that I have here that is not in my in my thing. Where do you not go into you go in a slot. There you go. Um yeah, that's good. Uh so there's a hundred seeds. I counted pretty much all of them not including like quartz and a triron because we're not gonna do refined storage. But um and possibly other things that we're not gonna need insane amounts of but around 100 ish basically or if it's 90 it doesn't matter so setting up all of them right now at this point in time i think is not a good idea what i think i will do is all of the ingots that i can produce right now and possibly all of the ingots that we can make from the oh hello you sorry energetic sheep i don't really need you anymore um you're all fine dandy with all your powers and stuff Okay, um, so the ingot seeds that we can make right now, which doesn't include the alloys because we don't have an alloy smelter. If when we get an alloy smelter, we can just make one set of every alloy and just make the seeds. So for now, I think I'll count up all of the ingot seeds and we're gonna set up a drawer set up with compacting drawers for all of the ingots. And then as soon as we get an alloy smelter going, when we get the grains of infinity going, we can do that. And then over here in this slide, I still need to take out this side of the mountain, but over here on this side, we can set up a drawer system or possibly the cloches for, uh, let's say, the Inferium and all of the other stuff. We can also toss redstone diamonds and everything that can be compacted into compacting drawers into a drawer on, on the wall, into compacting drawers on the wall here, basically. We finally got the four grains of infinity that we need. Uh, it sifted almost through one stack of compressed cobblestone, I think. Turned into gravel, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, a little over nine stacks and we got four. And we can now take some premium essence. I've also done a few things here. Uh, I have the redstones keeping going on here. That's fine. Yeah, I didn't show this. I have uh, recipes for emerald diamonds and redstone in here. I've just been auto crafting it with this crafter. Uh, and I've not been auto crafting this. But over here, I have just drawers and lots of seeds. Uh, basically, all of these that have the bone block, I have over there already made. That's why I just mark them like so. And then I have copper seeds, tin, aluminum, lead, silver, nickel, osmium, Certus Quartz, Nether Quartz, Coal, Lapis, Glowstone, Cobalt, Ardite, Steel, Eulorium, Night Slime, which I had four that I got in a loot bag, I think. Or no, I had the Night Slime, I have the Night Slime Cow, and I extracted that and I poured it into the smeltery. Uh, and I have uh, Prosperity Seeds that I haven't made yet, so we need to make those. And what I've just been doing is I take the Supremium and I make, let's say, a stack of this. And then I take one of these and I make, actually let's take three of these and make a stack of that. And then two of these will make, I believe, like that, a stack of that and like that. And we can just make a stack of the basic one as well, like so. And then I've just been opening my crafting window. We can see the uses for prosperity shards to make the seed. There's prosperity seeds, right? Seed pros 
How do you get, can you not get prosperity seeds? Is that a thing that I cannot get? How do I make prosper? Is it really only through heavy sifting? Well, that's poop or to sifting sand. Okay, fine. We'll sift for the prosperity shards. We don't have to have them in here then because we're going to have them where we're going to sift. So we can just do unlock then do that. Okay, you go in here. The rest of this. I need to make Chartsardus Squirts. Uh, I think there's seeds for Chartsardus. There might not be, though. No, there's only Sardus Squirt seeds. Okay, we can charge the Sardus. That's fine. Uh, which I have in here. Because uh, we're going to need that for AE. Uh, and I think I can just toss in all of the ingots that we can make with seeds over here. And if we need to make it larger at some point, we can just extend it over to this side. I'm going to leave this as is. And we can also take down some of this wall and extend it over to that side, uh, which should be fine. So uh, the seed making, uh, I needed uh, grains of infinity seeds. So we can see seed grain. Grains of infinity. It's the tier two seed. So we can just do tier two and like that and like that. Wonderful. We have grains of infinity and we need to put those in just a regular drawer, I think, so we can do that. But for now, we need a cloche to get it started. So we can just do um, drawer cloche and we should be good. Put the cloche here, drawer, and then we need a piece of dirt. I had dirt somewhere. I have it, I think in here, dirt. Put that in there and seed. So the grains of infinity is gonna allow us to make Enderio machines so we can make electrical steel, which is what we're wanting to make. So we can do this and we can make the seeds for it. So we can make more upgrades and all that. That's kind of the end goal. Uh, but we can also take this down now, because we're not going to need to enchant anything just yet now. So we can store it for later. Um, we could also go into a super simple like applied energistic system. That could be a thing that we do. And then we need still power. That could be a thing. Uh, and I don't know what I want to do for power yet because these cloches take so little power. We've just been running everything off of the specter coils off of these guys. And to be honest, if we make if we find more of them in loot bags, which I presume we will once we start opening them, we can just use those for power and not do any generators or anything. But there is quests for power anyway, um, for power generation. Uh, did I finish any quests? I don't think I did. Um, we could also go to the end. Oh, I finished this the black hole tank. I made it for the XP and uh, so touch chance spend for the XP, but we don't really need it because this doesn't drop that much XP. There's just like this little ball here. Um, that was nothing, I think. Um, yeah, we're basically waiting on these to produce. I think, is five going to be enough? I think so. Yeah, eight grains of infinity. Okay, I need to wait for more of these and then craft more of that and make some ender IO machines. I know I made the alloy smelter to make the alloys, but it's kind of slow <laughs> and we can just use the smeltery and use my speedy up wand to melt things really fast and then combine them really fast. And we have molten vibrant alloy and molten pul pulsating iron. Oh, that only made two ingots. No, okay, two ingots poured out. Okay, 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 okay. We can also make signalum, electrum, all that good stuff. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of the things that we need to make all of the different alloys. I don't know if I can make end steel in here. Like that's obsidian, dark steel is um, dark steel. Is pulverized, can we make dark steel in, in the smeltery? We cannot, we can only cast it out. Or, yeah, we can only melt dark steel and we cannot get dark steel out of anything else. We can do it in the smeltery or in the, uh, in the thingy though. Um, we need iron, obsidian and pulverized coal. So let's let's just get a stack of coal and you do your pulverization station. I toss the silicon in here. I made silicon seeds, they are over here because they don't go into a compacting drawer. But um, we have energetic alloy, vibrant alloy, pulsating iron. We can do the night slime in the, in the thingy. 
Uh, I wanted to make dark steel, so let me not forget to grab a stack of obsidian, and I don't have space in my inventory. Um, the remote can go away, the swapping wand. I need my speedy up wand, the moving wand can go away. Okay, good. So, dark steel. I'm gonna need eight total ingots because of end steel as well. So, let's do eight, like that. And we need to wait for some more pulverized coals. Six. Because if I speed this up, it just runs out of power and doesn't do much. Um, oh, there we go. Eight. Oh, eight. Like that. Toss the rest in here. Um, the night slime can go inside of here. We can drawer key it. And I'll also do electrical steel. Actually, let's do the alloys up top on here. Uh, let me just grab my other key to get that out. Okay, vibrant alloy, uh, energetic alloy, electrical steel, pulsating iron, quantify, quantify, quantify. Um, that should be good. The dark steel is gonna take 10 million years to do. Let's see, 66%. What if I speed it up? It's 80. What if I just keep speeding it up? It's gonna be low on power. But I don't know if it... Yeah, it doesn't really speed it up once it runs out of power. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to take... Once this is made, I'm going to take four and melt it in the smeltery. But we can grab... Um, let's say, I need inventory space. Let's do, let's do this. Put everything on, like, nice stuff. And put the seeds in here that I don't need. And the essences. And I don't need my watering can on me right now. And we can put the compacting drawers, that cobble, that grains of infinity. Wonderful. Okay. And also my crescent hammer can go in here and my wand. Wonderful. So, um, silver we're going to need. Nickel we're going to need. Copper, tin, redstone, glowstone probably. Mm, iron definitely, gold definitely. That should be what I need to make, I think, most of the things. So let's see. Um, four gold plus four silver will make us, if we speedy speedy, four electrum, and that should be should be poured out. And then four iron. Four, I don't. I think it's double the iron. So let's do two nickel. Turn this off. That is ma it made six inver ingots. Wonderful. We can even just speed up everything. Okay, that's gonna melt. Uh, then we need copper and tin. So four copper, four tin. I believe that's equal parts. Oh, it's pouring. Is it pouring out tin? It's pouring out tin. Give me back my two tin. Um, bronze. Bronze is I th oh, it's one tin to three copper. So I put in <clears throat> voice lost. Um, bronze, bronze, bronze. Three copper, one tin. So I put in four tin and three copper. So for four tin, I need twelve copper. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was four, eight, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that should be. Should be the rest of the materials. That's gonna make a bunch of bronze. Uh, then signalum. Signalium is ten redstone, I believe. Uh, one silver and three copper. So let's do one, two, three. Let's do ten redstone, because I don't know how much that makes. And one silver. Let me just turn this off for the moment. It's not gonna mix with the bronze, so we should be fine. Redstone's almost melted. Four ingots. Wonderful. Okay. Um, what else? Ingot. We got the signalum, lumium, glowstone, and silver. One, two, three. Uh, and it is... It is four glowstone, one silver, three tin. 
So one silver, three tin, four glowstone. And it's pouring. To, I keep forgetting to turn it off. Oh, lag. Got it back. Okay, melty melt. Almost melted. Like the dust take all the all of the time. Molten lumium. Enderium is gonna be the problematic one because we don't have platinum right now. I don't think so. And where are you, platinum? Platinum. How can I get platinum from sieving? If I can, I can res recipe for platinum. You would need to get the platinum ore or platinum chicken. There is no sieve. I mean, we can do, how do we get, uh, we can do nickel ore chunks and try to pulverize it because we can't get it through the smeltery. So we need to either pulverize it or probably sag mill will get us a 10% chance of getting platinum. I think we have some some ore being produced right now here. Uh, isn't there nickel? Osmium, iron. Uh, nickel ore piece. Oh, that's from dust. In a diamond mesh we get 30% chance. Okay, so we need that for platinum to we get so we can get enderium. So that'll be a bit of a process, but the rest of the ingots we can make the seeds, so I will do that now. I decided to enchant another sieve and it now has sieve efficiency 4, soulbound 3, sieve of luck of the sea 3 and I made this. It's a disenchanter and I set up up with the bookshelves the way I had an enchantment table and with this guy you can extract any enchant off of anything for a cost of levels and a book. And I extracted the sea fortune off of the first sieve, uh, or the first mesh even, and I added it to here so now it runs really fast, or quite a bit faster, and it does a lot of fortuning things. So the goal of here is to get a lot of nickel, and I compressed all of the things that we got from the sieving of gravel, and we have another eight grains of infinity if we need to use them for something, but we have all of the grains of infinity basically. So over here, I have a sag mill and the alloy smelter still that I uh, I used before. And I removed the flux point to put it on the sieve, which we don't think we really need. Does it use still 40 RF? Yeah. Okay, we can take this back and put it over here. Take this guy, put him over here. Okay, so seeds. I have vibrant alloy, energetic alloy, electrical steel, pulsating iron, dark steel, end steel, solarium, Conductive iron and redstone alloy, basically all of the Ender IO alloys. And over here I have Invar, Electrum, Bronze, Signalum, Lumium. We need nickel to create platinum. So we need to do the whole thing of taking this nickel and making the nickel ore. And then we can sag mill it for a 10% chance, which is kind of low. We could. Quartz grindstone doesn't give us anything. Magma crucible. The induction smelter with cinnabar would be the best thing, but cinnabar we can get from doing the stabilized redstone. There's cinnabar chickens from uh, these, but these require <laughs> lots of other things. Uh, we could do gold in a, or redstone crushed, pulverized. I mean, gold is 10% chance, redstone ore, we need to do a combiner from mechanism to get to that. So that's not gonna happen. Um, yeah, and there's no thumbcraft, so we can't just get cinnabar ore and smelt, it, smelt that down. So we either have to just wait for a bunch of nickel, which is gonna happen through this. So we're gonna do probably that next episode and get platinum seeds, and then we can just get all of the platinum ever. Uh, so that should be cool. I am not gonna be setting up the closures today because the video is getting pretty long as well as it is So the only thing that we're gonna grab is the electrical steel seeds and I'm gonna grab a, another cloche And I think I have some dirt in here still. Yep, okay I'm gonna grab that put these in here that in there and another drawer Should have more there we go and Key it up and do that. 
can I question? Let's test. I can totally speed it up and I need to put electrical seeds in here. Do you just run out of power or do you run out of anything else? I mean, I'm, I think it is it's running much faster. <laughs> I think it, it might be struggling for power a little bit, but it uses like 8RF, so it should be good. Uh, what if we add a bit of bone meal into here? Because bone meal can be a fertilizer and it's gonna, it increases the fertilization amount to 1.25, I believe. And you can put in a uh, fluxed phyto grow to make it grow um, two times as fast with the growth modifiers. Uh, but that this fertilizer needs to go down enough to do that. So with the 30 essence, I presume it's this. Yeah, we get 15 electrical steel. And we're going to need to make, we're going to need, I think, just uh, 60 total electrical steel. So I'm going to wait for that, which isn't going to take that long, especially if I stand here and speedy wand it a bit. Uh, so we should be fine with that. And then I'm going to make the upgrades for this. I'm going to start adding things to the filter to go into a trash can, which I don't know where I have. I think I have it up here somewhere in the mess of chests. It might have been gone. I can make another one. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to add things to the filters so we can extract into the drawer controller with enough speed that the mob farm can run all the time. And the bags we're going to take care of some other time. I'm going to see if this has any limit to how much it can store. We're going to see that after a while. But that means that I could leave the mob farm running when I get enough of this to... Uh, to have it basically run passively and make us resources. It didn't take me pretty much no time to get the 15 or 60 required steel for these upgrades. So with that, we're gonna test. I'm gonna put those in here and we're gonna grab my my redstone thingy and oh, turn on the mob fans or I could just turn it up uh, so that it to be a mob farm button. But that seems to be Okay-ish. Yeah, yeah, seems to be keeping up. I just need to extract uh, things into filters to, to get it going into the trash can. Okay, I added some things to filters and the way these filters work, you can nest them basically. So I can take, for example, I have two filters here. One does gold, leather, chain armor, and eventually all of the iron armor. And this one is gonna do glowstone, steel, and some, uh, for example, we grab osmium and this and for just for for fun because we have the lava anvil what i've been doing is i take this so it looks nice on the filter because i'm i'm a perfectionist or something but <laughs> i just use the speedy up wand to repair it and then it looks nice on the filter even though nobody's gonna care like i do i even i care apparently that's why i'm doing this but it's just fun uh, so we take the, f the filter, we say that and that, and it's set on ignore MBT, ignore meta and ignore or dictionary. And that way the durability doesn't matter and the enchantments don't matter. So we can then, uh, what I have here is this is active with signal. So I turn this off. So nothing else goes through here. So I can take the filter out and we can just remove these and say this one and then this one. Like so, toss it in here and turn it on and it should get rid of all of the osmium and stuff. The bags are still going here, They're oh, it's over 11,000 now. And everything else is going into the drawers and I believe every drawer here has a void upgrade so we should be fine on not overflowing anything at all. And we can eventually add more uh, emerald storage upgrades once things fill up because we have pretty much infinite emeralds with the cloches. So that should be good. And over here, I still have the glowstone sword that I have to add, but this filter is, let's say, chain. So this is gonna go here and this one's gonna go here. So I'm collecting the items here as well, just so if I eventually lose the filter or something weird happens, um, we can do that. But over here, I might do a speedy a bit of this. This is a patient bag. Uh, it is a bag that you, oh, that you keep opening and opening. Oh. I need to figure out 
a system. There we go. And eventually, you get something. So, I'm gonna just start, just keep opening until we get it. I'm gonna be patient. Okay, I don't want to do it anymore. Um, let's do a thing. Um, I believe I need one iron ingot for that. And I need a chest and a little bit of stone. And I believe it's this, that, and that. Bag opener. We're gonna grab three conduit. Put this here, put this in here. <clears throat> I lost my voice again. Sorry. And then do that and extract insert. Oh, it says always active. Can I not? Oh, yeah, it is doing its thing. Okay. <laughs> okay, so eventually this will make something. Hopefully. We'll see. I'm going to toss the rest of these bags in here as well, just because. Uh, and uh, hopefully in the next episode, we're going to see what this has inside of it. But yeah, with that, uh, this is going to be it for today. We automated the mob farm finally, so we can leave it running and not worry about it that much. We could just need to worry about getting other armor pieces and tools, but they're going to accumulate so slow that we're not going to have a problem if we leave this running for overnight or something. So yeah. With that, I want to thank you all for watching. I am hoping you're enjoying Stoneblock and enjoyed this episode. And if you did, make sure to hit the like button, consider subscribing to see new videos, and I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.